All right, in the meantime, we got John Paul DeJore. He's a billionaire, and records seem to confirm it, multi-billionaire. He's also a very nice guy. Um, I don't know if he's ever skipped contractors, but the rap against a lot of uh, Donald Trump in the past and what came up in the first debate is that he did stiff contractors. Now, Trump was saying, because they didn't do the job, they weren't up to the job, and he was a demanding boss. He said that should be welcomed in a president who would be guarding, and zealously so, your tax money. John Paul DeJour is included. John Paul with us right now. What do you make of that argument Trump made, John? I think that's kind of a weak one, and I think one thing people aren't bringing out, which I think would be interesting, was the people that he didn't pay. Was that around the same time when he took that huge loss off of his income tax? Could it be he didn't have the money to pay him? Just a thought. Obviously, I think people should did be paid. Did you ever not pay a contractor? Not doing their job. Did you ever not pay a worker no. or whatever? Really, ever? No, I've, I've paid people. I did a lousy a job sometimes. No. No, absolutely not. No, you got to pay people. And of course, some people I wasn't happy job? with. I he just never used them. Did a lousy, he said they did a lousy job. Yeah, if they did a lousy job, you chat with them a little bit, you negotiate what the job was worth, but you don't totally stiff them. And that's just not the thing to do. Maybe they did a lousy job. If they did a lousy job, yeah. sit down, talk about it, get an arbitrator, and, and do something that's fair with one another. That's how we like that, That's how you run a good business. So I think that one's a little questionable. All right, uh, John Paul, one thing I've run into, people tend to not really get big time into business issues. Try as I might for the past 30 plus years to get them into it, there are some who resist. Having said that, there are a lot of people who figure like almost a billion dollars in losses in one tax year, uh, comments mm -hmm. like that makes me smart, uh, comments like I've, I have stiff contractors or whatever. Is he giving capitalism a bad name or flip it around? Is, is backers who say that's just the kind of guy you want as president because he's going to aggressively police yeah. your money? Exactly. <laughs> Very good. Good point there. When you take a look at the entire situation, again, it's politics. Uh, and one thing that is kind of cool here is, with all due respect now, okay. Uh, Hillary, I don't think, could be controlled. Trump could be a little bit controlled with Congress and the House of Representatives. I look at pe what people do with their money, and if, for example, I pay, oh, I pay millions of taxes every year and take every write-off I can, but I still pay millions upon millions in taxes every year. If somebody had a major loss and was able to take that major loss legally has a write-off, I don't see anything wrong with that. Because he legally had a loss, he legally took it. I don't know whether he paid any other taxes over those uh, years in question between then and now, but he sure paid taxes on property and many, many other things. So I don't think right. that's big of an issue. I think it may be the, the Democrats, no disrespect against the Democrats, they're all good guys, right? But are probably pushing that more to stay well, away all. from what are these yeah. different... Well, yeah, well, some of these tax things, I look at Hillary's tax plan, I can't believe it. It takes the incentive out of Americans. I look at Donald Trump's tax plan, and it's workable. His plan is workable. When I looked at this plan, I saw, how is he going to raise the money? Right now, for neither one, I'm just kind of in the middle right now, okay? And I mean, I was all for Gary Johnson, nah, but I don't know right now, so I'm looking. Yeah. But what I look at is, who is going to end up best? I mean, I don't like one guy's demeanor. I don't like the other person, because I think they're going to take away the American dream from a lot of people. Can you imagine working your whole life, paying all kinds of taxes, and they want to take 60% of all the money you want to give to your children after you paid all those taxes? That's crazy. That's part of her plan. I think they're trying to keep away from that by, state tax by focusing yeah. more on Trump. All right. Oh, yeah, it's terrible. Right. And of course, raising taxes, they're wrong. She says she wants okay. to raise it 4% to approximately 44%. It's 48%. She forgot about Obamacare. And that's just federal. Yeah, the surtaxes for Those are the uh, wealthy issues. folks like yourself for that. All right, very yeah. good. Well, then, well laid yeah. out. John Paul DeJoria, <laughs> thank you, my friend. Always a pleasure. Uh, very, very successful capital. It's a very nice guy.